The other key battle of the evening, battle for the Senate, for the Republicans to take back control of the Senate. They need to end this night with four more seats than they started with. And we're able to make a call right now on one of those Senate seats in the state of Maine. We, CBS News is projecting that Angus King will be the winner in the state of Maine. Angus King is an independent, neither Democratic nor Republican, and he has not told us yet which side he is going to align himself with. The former governor, he's now, he's now going to occupy the open seat. Olympia Snow, the Republican senator in Maine, was reti is retiring from that seat, and so Angus King will be taking that seat. Byron Pitts is keeping up with the campaigns in the Senate and the House for us. Byron? Well, Scott, it's very likely that uh, Angus King could be a kingmaker once he gets to Washington. He's the independent, Scott, as you said. You can see his gold chair there. And while he hasn't said which side he'll caucus with, both parties believe there's a good chance he could caucus with the Democrats. In Maine, it was a three-person race between the uh, two t uh, former two-time governor of Maine, Angus King, who won. He defeated Democratic State Senator Cynthia King and Republican State Treasurer Charlie Summers. If we can look at our uh, map for a second. We were talking to Republicans just a little while ago this evening, and they tell us that they have to win at least one of the four seats on the East Coast. They basically consider Maine a law since the belief is that King may well caucus with the Democrats. That leaves them with Massachusetts, Connecticut, and Virginia. In Virginia, Republicans tell us, just like the Democrats, that they have to do well with women voters. And according to the latest CBS News exit poll, independent women favor George Allen 53% to 46% for Tim Kaine. Scott, the Senate race in Virginia, like the presidential race, is very, very tight at this hour. Byron, thanks very much.